The other important part of the dance here, as you'd call it, for the Formula One boys, is the dance consists of the racing line plus what they're doing with the brake and accelerator. Now, the principle, like we spoke about at the start, is slow into the bend and fast out. Now that really does apply for 95% of any racing. Sometimes it's better to actually go faster in and keep the power on and you'll be able to get out even faster, depending on your car setup, your engine speed, your aerodynamics, mechanical grip, it's complicated. But anyway, 95% of the time it's slow in, fast out, and that's it, right? So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna see, we're gonna show you now, obviously we're not gonna talk about the racing line here, <clears throat> we're gonna go through the same lap, but we're gonna show you where Hakkinen is braking and where he's getting on the accelerator and why, all right? So, let's go. So he's going to the left-hander. Now, you can hear, the, probably hear the car, maybe you probably didn't, because I'm talking, right? <laughs> but right now, he's, He's slamming on the brakes. He's going from, I'd say, seventh gear down to third. So he's dropping down four gears, right? So he's got to have a, maybe about 100 meters to brake before he hits that corner. Or maybe even a little bit, maybe 60, 70 meters, depending on how their, their setup is and, and everything. So the golden rule here is what Hacken is doing before he gets to the bend, he needs to do all his braking, most of it anyway, 95% of it, in a straight line because he's got to go down the gears, he's got to slam on the brakes, bang, 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 down three or four gears before he gets into the bend. Now, why does he do it? Why doesn't he just wait longer? Because the longer he waits, he's going to overshoot the bend because it probably makes sense, right? The cars are going fast. He needs time to slow down. He needs time to get down to the, to the four gears, three, drop three or four gears, set the car up because this, the corner will only have a certain amount of grip as well for the car. So he has to prepare the car, maybe that's the best way to explain it, before he gets it to the apex. So it's all about Hakkinen, slowing the car down, getting the car ready to get to the apex. So by the time he gets to the apex, which is the middle of the bend, he's ready to fucking nail the throttle and get out of the corner as fast as he can. So the first part of the bend, you slow it down, get into the bed, get it nice and neat, smooth, organized, at to the apex, and then once he gets to the apex, it's bang. He needs to be on that throttle as fast as, and hard as, and aggressively as he can. So watch him now. Slowing it. Now, time, maybe, no, there could be a bit of a sound delay on this, okay, because this, this video is old. But, so it does sound like he's getting on the power just after the apex here. Then again, it depends on how his, his car setup is. But this is what he's trying to do. Get to the apex, get the power on. So listen again. Yeah, that's slightly just... We'll go back again here. So let's just go back to, the, to, the end, to the, uh, this corner here. He's coming up. See, he's braking in a straight line. Now he's kind of a little bit of a curve coming in, but the gradient on that track as well is allowing him to, to come in. Slowing it down, slowing it down. See, he's getting the car ready, ready. Like he's setting up the car here. Bang! Throttle down. Full speed, full speed. Here we go, up the back straight. Let's go, let's go. Now this is full speed as well, almost. Oh no, he's gone down. Now here we go. Now, he's going into a long right-hander here. So what's he gonna do? You can see he's slowing the car down, getting it smooth, setting it up to get to that apex. Once he gets to the apex, bang, throttle down. You can see it's still slowing. Apex, bang. He even got on it just before the apex. Here we go again. Slowing the car down in a straight line. Slow, 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 slow. Apex, apex, bang, and he goes. There he goes again, slowing it down. Apex, bang, go. Slowing, apex, bang, go. Here we go. See what I mean? Slow, apex, boom. Fuck yeah, come on. Apex, yeah, go, 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 go. Great fucking lap. I mean, great lap. And those cars now, guys, uh, this is 2001. 
So, it, these cars were monsters back in the day. Um, they were brilliant. So guys, that's it. That's the racing line. Uh, that is how the, the drivers use the throttle. In fact, we'll be, you know what, before we go, let's just go back to that corner again. And we'll just show you, without me interrupting you this time, let's just watch Hakkinen the way he, the way he uses the power. And remember, he's slowing it down in a straight line. Once he gets to the middle of the bend, the apex, boom, throttle down, and he needs to go as fast as he fucking can, okay? So here we go. Oh, maybe I should go back, sorry. Right, here we go. Oh. Ah, oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, guys. Oh, just fucking wonderful. So, guys, that was the Hungara Ring. Mika Hakkinen on board 2000, did we say 2001? Fuck me. Long time ago, but it just goes to show the, the, the cars haven't actually changed that much in the last 20 years in terms of speed-wise. Now, they're probably about, uh, oh, I'd have to double check it now. But they're maybe about three seconds a lap now. Guys, I always say that in racing, one or two tenths, if you're competing, is a lifetime. It doesn't sound much. So even though I'm saying one or two tenths is, is, is every, it's huge. So, Jesus, three seconds. But every car is three seconds faster these days. So it's, uh, it's amazing how, how the technology has come along these days. Um, but again, it, it, monster cars, monster cars. They were the V10s back in the day. They sounded like fucking animals. I'm sure you've, if you've never seen them one before, guys, you should definitely YouTube the V10 Ferraris and all those F1 cars. Unbelievable beasts, beasts. So guys, that was it. That was part three of um, learning about motor racing in Formula One. We'll be back again the next time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain downforce if I can. It's going to be a tricky one to try and explain, but we're going to do our best the next time. Guys, thanks for listening. Talk to you later.